Hi, welcome to my first Lada's Lepidoptera YouTube video. <laughs> I've made a few of just the caterpillars, but some of you have encouraged me to make a video of me talking about caterpillars, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're sitting up in my play daughter's playhouse, which is where I keep my caterpillars. Um, you can kind of see if I turn you can see here the mesh containers I have three mesh containers up here that keep the caterpillars safe outside so they can experience natural daylight and wind you can hear the leaves rustling in the wind chimes blowing right now and so that they can also experience the uh, natural sun rises and sunsets uh, for a lot of caterpillars that's necessary information that they need to be able to take in so that they know when to pupate or not pupate. Um, in the case of swallowtails, some of them overwinter um, and don't come out of their chrysalises until the next year. And so it's really important. Um, and for monarchs, it's really important for them to experience natural daylight because that helps them know how to orient themselves when it's time to migrate. So the monarchs that come out. So. Today uh, we're going to just uh, work on swallowtails and maybe moths. We'll save the monarchs for another day, but we're going to just kind of go through the process. As I go through it, when I come out to check on my caterpillars, as I say to my family, I'm um, going to go out and check on my caterpillars and uh, clean the cages. So and, uh, you can see a few caterpillars crawling around up here. So this is my mesh container that I keep my swallowtails in. And right now I have two different kinds of swallowtails in here. There are eastern black swallowtails. Sorry, let me try and get this oriented better. There are eastern black swallowtails. And there are pipevine swallowtails. These are the pipevine swallowtails that are crawling around up here. So we might have to move those guys. Um, they're crawling around because they're hungry. Also, one of them is presently giving me his horns, making his stinky face. So these guys grow, gosh, so much, and they grew so much since I checked on them yesterday. Um, so what I'm doing, well, this guy's hanging out right here. You can see them crawling out. Uh, when I come in to clean, I always come in and check the cage to see what needs, who needs fed and what needs done. Uh, we got to try not to let the caterpillars escape, so in this instance, I'm just going to try and get these guys to come to me. Here you go, a couple vine swallowtails aren't they great look at their little faces I'm a completely obsessed with these guys they're hungry um, and I have for them some pipe vine that I already harvested this is pipe vine that I'm growing in my garden they're gonna go right on this leaf both of them are hungry and ready to eat I don't know if you can sorry if you can see them we'll let them put themselves on there it's better, best, not to hold them if you don't have to touch them. That's better. So we can see in here, maybe I can come in closer. Hmm, I'm just learning for the first time, so you'll have to bear with me on this. You can see in here some more pipe vine swallowtails. They're all on the vine. But these vines also had leaves and they've eaten almost all the leaves off so we're going to clean out the pieces that we don't need anymore which are these two at least and what i do is just get those pieces out of the way sorry about that and then we're going to put the new pieces in and i have some water in these floral tubes i'm not going to worry about the water today I, as long as the stems reach the water it's fine the water is not for the caterpillars, the water is for the plants. You don't actually want the caterpillars to get in the water because it might make them drown. So that's why I use large floral tubes. Um, in the floral tube, the way that it's set up is in a container that's just a ball jar. Nothing fancy. Sometimes the poop gets in there and we have to clean that. We want to keep that clean. So sort of just cleaning that out I usually just put two and the reason I use the paper towels here to hold this is just to keep it steady 
for the caterpillars so they don't fall and get hurt and also just the paper towel sort of keeps them from climbing down in that glass I don't want them to go in there so we can see here are some more pipe vines most of them are getting pretty big um, they all hatched within a day of each other this guy like is way bigger than that guy um, and there's another one back here and there's one down here sometimes they're molting so like this guy on the oh you can't see him um, this one here I think he's probably molting so we want to try to disturb him as least as possible although I do need to clean this poop out caterpillar poop is called frass, F-R-A-S-S, -S, if you didn't know that, and uh, it does not smell, um, it doesn't really anything, yeah, he, I think he's molting, we don't want to bother him, he's getting ready to shed his skin so that he can come out bigger, so what I like to do to clean these containers out is just, if the paper towels are not wet, which thankfully they're not. Sometimes they get wet. Oh darn it. I'm going to figure this out a little better. Sometimes they get wet if uh, it rains, which it did rain last night and this morning. And sometimes they also get wet if a caterpillar um, purges, which means it's getting ready to pupate. Uh, so all I do is just kind of clean up all this poop into one paper towel and I don't do much fancy you can't see this I'm just dumping it in the yard behind me and putting it back in there cleaning that out so that they have a clean and healthy environment and then we'll put these guys back in here put him he's moving around a little bit put that back in there, back in there. see he's going down to the end they really like it when it's fresh they like to go to the very end of the vine to eat although that end isn't particularly fresh. He'll eat it. So these are these big guys here. You can see their little antennas. These are all pipevine swallowtails. Over here, you can see that those are black swallowtail chrysalises. Some of which have been. This one went into chrysalis on 627. So the, he's been hanging out over a month. They might be in here for another month. They might be until next year. Swallowtails, they do whatever they want to do. That's just how they are. So those guys have some fresh leaves now. And uh, the other caterpillars I have in here are eastern black swallowtails. I'll bring this a little closer. Maybe you can see. Um, the eastern black swallowtails, there's some babies in here. There's one little guy right here. And then on this side, there's one right here and one right here. Should be one more. I think I have four in here. Right? All right. Right. Um, you've stuck with me this long. I'm impressed. Thanks. Anyway, eastern black swallowtails. One, two, three. I swear there's another one in here. But they are really good at camouflaging. So he probably is in here. We probably just don't see him. I just gave them fresh food and water yesterday and their food is looking really good so I'm not going to worry about giving them any more just for those little guys they don't eat a lot so they got they got plenty uh, with the swallowtails I feed them uh, parsley dill a combination of parsley dill and rue and um, golden alexander Typically, those are the things I have in my yard for them to eat. So swallowtails, that's, that's how we do that.